Hey guys, this is my intro video here um, of the truck and camper that I'm building. Hans is clearly feeling a little shy today, so he has his back to me. Maybe he's a little grumpy right now. It's a little warmer out here than expected. There you go. You say hi? Say hi. Um, I'm going to give a tour of the Overland camper that I have right now um, on my truck. I have a 23 Tacoma. Um, which I'll show in just a minute as well. And I'll show some of the custom options that I got for the Overlander camper. I kept it pretty basic. Um, they're great over there, though, if you're looking at one and you want to do all kinds of different things. Um, I have seen some pretty cool builds. Um, mine just, I just kept that basic because for what I needed. Um, me and Bonds will be or have been semi on the road on the road <laughs> semi time and we'll probably be full time if all goes well semi to full time is basically what we're looking for um adventuring camping hiking backpacking it's what we do anyways or what i do and sometimes i'll take him with me but now he's gonna get dragged all the time um so yeah follow along follow our journey i don't really know what i'm gonna be posting or how often i'll be posting um I'm more active on Instagram if you want to go there and follow there the best way. Um, I also do some wood burning, some art stuff, which is what I'll be doing on the road as well and showcasing that here and there. So um, you'll see that occasionally as well. So, All right, to start, I have a 2023 Tacoma, as you can see here, um, and that is the Overlander camper. I did get a double cab and a six foot bed um, for more space in general. All right, so one of the features I really, really wanted was the half barn doors. As you can see, they're here. Really easy to work with. You just kind of pop it out. And then there's a little clip here, which I'll show a little bit later, but it'll hold the doors in place so they won't move. And I still have my tail cab. Um, I also opted for the gas struts that are right here, as you can see. So to open up and pop it up, you're just going to take that off. And I'll do that in just a moment. And there's six of those. Um, these stairs are not included. These are for Fonzie, not meant for human weights. So once you do that, it's fairly easy. Um, it's like a little clip in here that you undo and then you just kind of lift it. The gas rods make a huge difference um, in popping that up. And as you saw, it was fairly quick. Same thing with the back. So once that's popped up, um, there's this little tab to lock everything into place it won't fall on you um probably won't fall on you anyways but there's that um and then this little bungee just kind of brings everything together when you go to pull it down it'll bring in the canvas um but i do have windows i don't know if the video will work, so. windows here so that's the inside canvas and there's a vinyl here so on rainy days i can still have the window open but water won't come in. I want a nice little breeze. Pull that down. There's a nice little mesh here. Side. Nice little mesh here. Um, the bed pulls out, which is really, really nice um, to make this a full. Um, or actually, no, it's not a full, it's a queen size bed, but it's quite cozy. As you can see, there's a lot of space. I don't have the bedding in here yet, um, or at the moment, I'm just building some things out right now. Um, the insulation I use, which is a Thinsulate, um, it is quite cozy. I missed a spot up here with glue, <laughs> so you can see, it just kind of goes into the... Openings there that I had um, 
it was really easy to install. I probably took three hours or so on my own. Um, cutting it was a pain, but I just didn't have really good scissors. And I will be putting some boards here for the wall. That's kind of my next project. And then we want to put this back. You just kind of lift it up there. If I can do it. We'll slide that back in. Um, up here is the fan. Kind of a couple of screws come out, but um, the Max Air Fan Deluxe, I believe, is what I grabbed. Um, I still have to do the wiring there, so it's not currently working. Also, a project this week. But otherwise, that's pretty much it as far as the upper half of the So one of the things you can't really see right now, because I did put the insulation already, but right here there was um, a, there is a solar port that I also had installed by Overland, as well as the fan was installed by them. Um, you can kind of, let me see if I can get the cable. You can see the cables coming out from there, and they are coming down here um another thing i got wired pre-wired was the third brake light so that's what these wires are you'll see um i have the solar the fan and the, air, the brake light back here and that all came or i'm sorry the brake light is actually right here i don't know what i'm talking about <laughs> okay so that's there um, that's already been, I already wired it and connected it to my brake light. Um, and so is my solar already connected. I'll take a video of that in just a moment. But all that's pending is the fan at this point. Lastly, I had um, windows installed by the, um, the cab. Hi, you want to explain it? <laughs> um, the cab here. So they do open up. And um, if I have that window open, I can access through. Um, that is an option that you can get as well. Um, and then they have little rails here that's automatically with all of them. So the windows, all oh, that's with all of them. The only extra that I got was this window, the fan, the third brake light, the half barn doors, and I believe that's it right now. Um, I know you can get it higher. You can get, um, like a headliner in there, um, some daisy chains, I believe some lighting as well, or some pre-wired bulbs or something up there. Um, there's just a ton that they offer, Ooh, sorry, <laughs> that they offer. So they're really good to work with. I highly, highly recommend it. They're great communicators. Um, all my questions were answered ahead of time. Um, all my questions afterwards <laughs> were answered quickly, so. They're great. I highly recommend them so far. Okay, so lastly would be um, a quick look at the barn door windows. So this is how the camper came. You can see as far as like hollow here, um, and that's where the insulation is. So just to give you an idea of what it looked like beforehand. Um, gosh, I'm so sorry. Eyes are just bothering me today. Um, so I will be putting insulation here. I just haven't gotten that far, but just to give you an idea of how the door is clipped back here. It's just this little clip comes off super easy, keeps it in place so it's not swinging. You do lock from the inside, so that's pretty nice. Um, they lock on the outside. There's, let me show you guys, uh, actually, there's oy, two little, um, locks here. You can see that lock here, lock on the top. I have keys to that. I have multiple keys, which is really nice. Um, a view of the outside, just to give you an idea. I'll do solar um, preview and link all of that in just a little bit. But this is it so far. Um, it's been really cozy. It's been really roomy. Uh, before I put the camper in, I was sleeping in the truck bed because I'm small enough. But that was only for a little bit. But before that, I was sleeping in my sedan, so it's an upgrade regardless. And it's getting us to many new locations, so it's been super fun. Fonzie. Say bye. Say bye. Yeah. <laughs>